Hey everyone, welcome to week six of Back to Viz Basics. This week we are asked to design insightful bands, big aggregate numbers, or if you're amongst friends, you can use a different word for the letter A. Anyways, we are given slightly made up data, which is a change for the Back to Viz Basics project, not actual data. Uh, we have about a thousand observations, employee data. So each row in our data sets can be employee and we have information about their characteristics, their employee ID, their age, their gender, their salary, their title, their position, their uh, job satisfaction score, their engagement score, their, their uh, performance rating. So we have all these data and we are asked to make insightful bands. Now in the sort of Tableau world or in the dashboarding world, where you see bands most commonly is you click on a visualization or you filter a bar chart, or you select a map and a big number shows up at the top so that you get this big insightful number. It tells you the bottom line or the most important thing, the summary number, the average, the maximum, whatever that number is. I don't think Flourish is really set up to do bands in that same kind of way because it is not a dashboarding tool. So I thought about how I might do this in the Flourish world and where I think I landed was to use cards. And so here, as you can see, I have nine cards for these data. And so when you click on any of these cards, I'm gonna give you the annual average salary here. When I click on the card, I'm gonna give you a little bee swarm chart of all the results in here. And you can actually go in and filter these down if you wanna learn more. Now I'll say, I started with the bee swarm here. I think it works well for this this particular metric. I don't think it works great for all of the other metrics, but that's okay. Um, I, I'm not really that worried about that for this visualization. I just wanted to play around and see what would work. But as you can see, you can click on each one and you can go into these bee swarm charts. So I'll show you how to do this in just a second, but just to see what's under the hood, you can see that all I have to do is create the eight separate bee swarm charts for each card and then publish that one, grab the iframe code, which is very easy to do in Flourish. You just publish, copy the iframe, and then drop it into the cards template. So it's, it's actually pretty easy to do. I did play with another approach, which is using Canva. So as you can see here, I created one big bee swarm chart, use the grids approach to create nine small multiples and drop this into a canvas uh, uh, template and then would just add my bands here, right? But you can see that these are hard coded, right? So I'm not gonna be able to, you know, the user's not gonna be able to go in here and select the drop down menu and have the numbers at the top update. So that's the challenge that I'm gonna have here. So I'm not gonna use the canvas, uh, the Canva one. I'm gonna go back over to Flourish. So let's take a look at what I've got here. So I just have uh, a relatively small number of variables here. I'm gonna have in column A, I'm gonna have the name of each one. You'll notice the top one here is a little bit different, but just follow in row three here. I've got the variable name, so annual salary. Then I've got the description and then the value. Now I calculated in my Excel file, the mean and the median, and I ended up just using the mean because I just, I just did. And then I have the iframe for each of the visualizations. So before I get into how to build the cards part, let's go over to one of the bee swarm charts. I'll just pick the salary one. So here's the bee swarm. Really easy to make a bee swarm chart in Flourish. One of my one of my favorite parts of, of using Flourish is being able to create these, you know, more data dense charts. You can see here you just have to pick your X value and your Y value. So the X value is going to be the annual salary, right? That's where the, the annual salary data are tagged. Along the Y dimension, the vertical dimension, I'm going to use the department, so that's how I'm going to arrange them. Um, and then the color, I'm going to color these by position. And I'm also going to add a filter down here for also the position. So that's how to create the bee swarm. And once you have this all set, you can go to export and publish. And I'll republish this, get my edits. And down here under more options, you can select the iframe code. And then you can just copy this iframe code. So just a quick uh, control C, go over to my cards and I paste it in. And that's how it's going to show up behind the card. Okay, so now we're in the cards. So let's see what we've got here. So you get to decide what you're going to include in the text of the card. So you have a title, a subtitle and text. And so I just sort of played around with how I wanted to arrange these. Uh, the categories, how do I, what do I want each card to be? And then are there gonna be any pop-ups? And this, in this case, I'm gonna use the pop-ups. I'm gonna use the actual, the actual graphic here. So let's go to each one of these. 
you can see I have my title is going to be the value, the average value, which I calculated in Excel and brought over here. Then I have the name of each piece and then the text below. So you can do this as a carousel. So if I wanted to make this horizontal rather than uh, as a grid, I could do that. I kind of like the grid for this one, so I'm going to leave it that way. Um, for the cards themselves, you can play around. I didn't really have to change anything here. Um, I'm not using any images, but you could put an image on top or behind the cards. I didn't do that here, uh, but but could, of course, do that. Um, I threw a little bit of the shadow on. I don't know. Don't doesn't really need it, but kind of softens it just a little bit. Let's keep going. So here's the text. And in the text, which, what's really nice here is you can control all three pieces of the text. So if you want to change the font size of the title, as you can see, you can change that. Um, you can change it from italic to bold to uh, regular, change the color, and so on and so forth. And so I just kind of played around with the sizes here. Ideally, what I would want to do is have all of these aligned. So you can see here I have annual salary and there's extra space here. I want all this text to be aligned. And I thought I could do that by maybe adding some spaces here in the, in the, in the cell. But that doesn't do anything. It did add that period, which I definitely don't want. So let's leave that. So those 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 uh, spaces are are deleted, and I don't think you can add a carriage return in here. So it's not like this is. I think this second row looks really nice because it's all aligned. Uh, this top row, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but you know, could be improved a little bit. Colors obviously pretty easy to pick your colors and edit the palette. So I did that pretty quickly. Um, pop ups and panels. Okay, so here, real simple. I'm just going to add my data viz. That's the data viz column that I created over here. I'm just going to add it to the pop-up. And I'm going to use it here as a panel, not as a pop-up. Um, if you change this to a pop-up, which is one click, you can see it doesn't it doesn't quite work, right? It's just it just doesn't work. Now I will say on the panel, just real quickly, and this is really the last thing. When I first dropped this in, I found that I had to scroll within the panel. And that's because the default size of the of the graph was a little taller than the panel shape. So I had to just go in here and I changed the height uh, in my iframe code. This was 600 pixels. I just shrank it down to 500 pixels and now it fits very nicely. So that's really all it is. This is a pretty simple graph. I, you know, I don't think it's the same as a Tableau bands approach that most people would use because you can't literally uh, interact with a graph and have the big number uh, update at the top, but if I want to just have all the data, I just want to give you the bottom line and let you go in and explore the data, this might be a visualization approach that works. So I'd be curious how you approach bands and flourish. Let me know. Use the hashtag B2BV on social media or just ping me, just DM me wherever you can reach me and uh, I'll take a look. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can learn more about flourish and your data visualization approaches. And I'll see you next time for another Back to Viz Basics Flourish edition tutorial. Oh, 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 oh,